we've done it. We've managed to save Bernard Oge's life from his horribly fatal dose of radiation that he had. But we're still near the glow, so let's get the fuck out of here. So for those that are curious what happens, it turns out, because I had to look into it so I could fix it, is when you receive a fatal dose of radiation, uh, the game determines... It says fucking asshole. The game determines that in about 12 hours or so... Um, you'll be affected by the radiation, which normally means that your stats go down. And uh, if any stat goes to zero, you drop dead horribly. And that's what the problem was with Bernard, is several of his stats were going to zero because he has so much radiation to go through his system. Now, unfortunately... His, some of his stats were so horrible to begin with, specifically his charisma. Um... He wouldn't survive, so he would just leave, and the radiation would just make him exponentially more stinky until he himself couldn't handle it and just drop dead. So what we have to, what we had to do is we had to go into a save editor, which isn't very fun because it's a save editor that was made for a game from fucking 1997. So I'm pretty much plugging in like Cold War era technology to fix other Cold War era technology. But you rigged that shit up. And then you just temporarily make your stats high enough so that you don't drop dead when this effect happens, because we're still poisoned from the radiation. You are hemorrhaging violently and continuously. The vomit is sustained red from your blood. Your skin is falling off of your bones. Luckily, we're contained inside the suit, so that's fine. How fucking radiated am I? The rem counter reads 11. I also lowered our radiation. That's like the dirtiest thing I've ever had to do in a Let's Play. Like, I had to go in and, like, physically modify the hex files for a character. But the alternative is that we wouldn't be able to keep playing the game and we wouldn't be able to finish it, which I guess would be an interesting end to Bernardo's, just collapsing from his own stench in the California desert, but... We're so close. Let's see this through to completion. All his stats are back to normal. The radiation subsided. The stench of his sloughing skin is contained within his armor, hopefully. But we solved the mystery of the glow, which is the fact that you're supposed to fucking take Rad X before you go in every time. Or uh, you can potentially wreck your save file forever, which almost happened to us. Um, we read the alpha tape, so let's read the FEV experiment tape. Log date March 21st, 2075. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch 10011 of Pain Immunity Virion, which has been renamed FEV for Forced Evolutionary Virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure rather than its main effect of replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experiments with single-celled organisms is a great success. While their basal metabolism appears unchanged, their immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum. Chloroplasts seem unaffected by the virion. Further experiments on plant cells have been cancelled by order of Major Barnett. May 9th, 2075. We infected several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worms had increased in size by 28%, and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed to continue for several generations, and the new DNA structure was successfully passed on to the worm's progeny, although only asexual reproduction was noticed in the samples. Experiments with insects have been had less, uh, have had less success. Major Barnett has postponed these experiments until further notice. June 30th. Several lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully with FEV. Again, an increase in size was noted within hours, and after nine days, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger than the control group. Dissection revealed that most increase in size in steriated muscle tissue and certain internal organs, such as the liver, heart, and kidneys. In a surprising finding, the infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be needed to confirm this findings as significant. November 9th. We've infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subjects were implanted with electrodes to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electrical activity in the brain was noted in 3.2 seconds on average after injection. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and perfusion yielded brain tissue that showed 
increased dendritic connection, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. January 12th, 2076. With batch 11011, we've improved the mitotic cycle efficiency by 43%. We have infected 53 raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral tests confirm an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler cap index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Barnett ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. May 13th. We've spliced several new gene sequences supplied by Major Barnett's advisory team in FEV. With batch 11101A, we infected 23 dogs of both pure and mixed breed and all experienced nearly immediate growth. The larger size was accomplished with increased, sorry, accompanied with increased aggressiveness while no significant intelligence increase was noted. We plan to attempt crossover of 92 Alele pairs with batch 11011. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. October 4th, the crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce cancers in the subjects through radiological and chemical agents were not successful. Increased aggressiveness have led to isolating the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic seizures and died. All remaining subjects terminated. January 7th, 2077. Major Barnett has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this and would like it noted here that research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or the staff. Well, too fucking bad because they did it. Delta experiment tape? The military has deemed it necessary for us to research further in depth the effects of wave technology upon living organisms. We have taken light and sound as the basis of our studies. By manipulating the amplitude of the light waves and magnifying the frequency, We've been able to get lasers which will cut through a few feet of steel. Unfortunately, the power to do such a task has not been fully developed. We have other scientists looking into this. Okay. Ugh. Big words making me sleepy. Where are we? Seriously, where the fuck am I? We're at the water merchants. I went too far. Oh, what is this? See a patient. Hello, what is going on here? What do you want? What is this place about? Something called the Holy Flame. Don't listen to this bullshit. It'll rot your brain. Man, are these people ever stupid? Yeah, it's a good thing they aren't paying me to agree with them. Holy Flame my ass. Are you okay? Oh, mercy, holy flame, mercy. You see Thorndike. I am a healer. You have no need for my services. Um, how much do you charge for your services? There were a few wise ones among the ancients who believed virtue is its own reward. That is my belief as well. Perhaps if more people shared this opinion, there would have been no need for the holy flame. Forgive me, but I have no patience for long conversation. There are other people who may instruct you better than I. Please excuse me. Done. Now, sir, that looks like a cathedral wiener robe. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? I'm interested in your church and I want information. Do you have any pamphlets? Continue to mock me and I will have you thrown out. It's obvious that kindness and good temper are part of this religion. You will pay for those heretical words. Oh, what are you doing? I'm not sure if this will make the guards mad at me. I'll just run into the street. Oh, look who's not sick anymore. Just great. Wait. Our enemies must burn in holy flame. Oh boy, I pissed off the whole little church slash hospital. Hello, guard. Are we friends? Hmm. 
I just want to make sure you're not going to get mad at me if I punch these idiots. Yeah, we're cool. Oh, I can't take your sweet robe. Well, see ya. Master, bless me. Are you with the fucking... He's with the master. Try and stop me in my power armor. See you later. Alright, this part of town isn't mad at me. You're victorious in combat for killing those two innocent bystanders. 290 experience. Oh, let's put this away. Don't want to piss off the whole town on us. Hey there. I am looking to buy something. Hope you refilled your fist juice. You did not. That makes me very sad, you fuck. Well, maybe General Storeman got some more med stim packs. Well, fuck this. Let's just wait for the sun to come up. Can't rest at this location. What? Can't pass the time? Hopefully this is because that part of the town has fights. Yes, it is. Next stop, General Store. Come on now. Get the fuck over there. I would like to buy something. Oh, your inability to buy stim packs makes me very sad. Oh, right. We gave ourselves a fucking freakishly large amount of rat away when I was trying to figure out why we were dying from radiation poisoning. So let's just give him most of these as an apology for free. Done. $23,000. You can just have it. Not going out of my way to break the game. That's two thousand dollars. Oh fuck! Take these discs too. Remember that they weigh an arm and a leg. One med kit for emergencies. The bullets we don't need, and the rope we shouldn't need anymore. Just drugs and caps. Do you have anything that I want, mister? Not really. Whoops, there was some more money there. Didn't get, didn't quite get all your caps, stranger. There you go. Incredibly one-sided trade. Nice doing business with you. Still high out of our skull from our Mentat's addiction, but let's just go to the cathedral. Nobody really wants to sell a stim pack, so let's hope 57 is enough. Just gonna... There we go. You know, I'm not sure how many side quests we might have missed, but... Bernard's in rough shape. He's basically just a sentient pile of goo inside his power armor from the radiation we got. You feel better. Well, my mistake, apparently. I think that was us recovering from our Mentat's addiction. You were attacked by a swarm of mantis. What? What is going on?
Hey, he took a power fist. That is not how this works, little man. Mantises? I... I don't even know what's going on anymore. Maybe I did die in the glow and this is hell. Giant mantises. Nobody sells stim packs. What is this thing? A tree? A dead tree. Nothing grows well here. Well, that was productive. I got 420 experience. Oh shit, we're gonna hit level 13. Come on, you can make it. You fucking oaf. Um, I don't even know who we're going to do business with in the boneyard. Gun runners. What was downtown? No, no, this is the town. That's the blades. Asshole death claws gun runners, right? Okay. Put this away. We don't want any trouble. I would like to do some trading with you. We've already done trading. Great doing business with you. Yep, whatever, dude. Now, I know Smitty wouldn't trade with me, but maybe he just has shit to trade. Thanks for fixing the farms. If you ever find yourself a plasma rifle, bring it on back here. I know a few tricks that I can pull with the injectors. Bunch of junk. Maybe Miles will be more promising. Nice to see you, but I'm right in the middle of some research. My intelligence is pretty high. Oh, fuck, wait. Didn't properly correct my bullshit stats. We'll change that back. That's not, that's, that's a cakewalk after we figure out how to deal with the radiation, but let's just get to the cathedral and get to killing. Oh, right, that's why we were in fucking the bone yard. We wanted to level up. Because we were just about to. You poor guy, you fell right into my trap. You were critically hit for one hit point. The bruise will look nice and maybe the scars will make good party talk. You are so fucking fucked. There's our level. More throwing. Perfect. Charisma seven. Yeah, this stats got fucked up when we managed to survive our radiation. Oh, you could say that maybe the radiation mutated us and made us stronger, but no, we're we're lucky to be alive. The clouds parted, and God decided that it wasn't Bernard's time because he smells too bad and he's not allowed in heaven. Poor Bernie. Put our fist away so they don't suspect us right away when we go to the cathedral. This should be the end game, though. Interior. All right. 